We now learn how to write a fraction as an equivalent fraction for which the denominator is unknown, and that would look something like what we're shown here. We're given 2 over 3, or 2 thirds, and we need to find its equivalent fraction whose numerator is 10, but its denominator is unknown. Now to do this, the trick is to start from the fraction that we do know, which in this case is 2 thirds and to compare its numerator, so in this case 2, with the other numerator, which is 10. And to ask ourselves, what do we have to multiply or divide 2 by for it to equal to 10? And looking at this, it doesn't take us too long to see that if we multiply 2 by 5, then it will equal to 10. And so to find the unknown denominator, which we've called x here, we need to carry out the exact same operation. So we have to do 3 times 5. And since 3 times 5 is equal to 15, we can replace this x here by 15. And there we go. We've just written the fraction 2 thirds as an equivalent fraction for which the numerator is equal to 10. Let's look at another example. Let's say we have to write the fraction 6 eighths, or 6 over 8, as an equivalent fraction for which the numerator is equal to 18. In other words, we need to find the denominator, which I'm calling x here. Well, again, our starting point is to look at the fraction that we know, so that's 6 over 8, and to compare its numerator, 6, to the numerator, 18, and to ask ourselves, what do we have to multiply or divide 6 by for it to equal to 18. And we see that if we multiply 6 by 3, it'll equal to 18. And so to find what x has to be, we carry out the exact same operation starting from 8. And 8 times 3 is equal to 24. So this x here can be replaced by 24. And there we go. We've just written 6 over 8 as an equivalent fraction whose numerator is equal to 18. Let's look at one last example. Say we're given 12 over 15, and we have to write it as an equivalent fraction whose numerator is 4. So that would be 4 over some unknown x. Now the starting point is still to look at the fraction that we know, so that's 12 over 15. And we compare its numerator, in this case 12, to the other numerator, which is 4. And we ask ourselves, what do we have to multiply or divide 12 by for it to equal to 4? And we notice that if we were to divide 12 by 3, then it would equal to 4. And so to find what x has to be, we carry out the exact same operation on 15. That's 15 divided by 3 will give us what x has to be. And since 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5, we can go ahead and replace x by 5. And there we have it. We've just written 12 over 15 as an equivalent fraction whose numerator is equal to 4. And that's it for this tutorial. I really hope that helped, and if it did, please hit like on this video and even subscribe to our channel as that really does help us. I'll see you soon.